Bedtime Stories TV. The story of Tum and Gam. The story told about two half sisters were Tum and Gam. Tum's parents died early. She lived with stepmother, and she was Gam's mother. Every day, Tum had to work hard, whereas Gam was pampered by her mother. One day, the mother asked Tum and Gam to go to the field and catch fish. Tum obeyed stepmother's instructions and worked hard. So she caught a basket of fish quickly. Gam just hung out, picked flowers, and caught butterflies. Therefore, in the afternoon, she couldn't catch any fish. Gam saw them catch a lot of fish. She said, "Sister, your hair is so muddy. If you don't wash your hair fast, our mother will scold you." Tum believed in her younger sister. Left the baskets of fish for Gam to watch. While she was washing her hair, Gam was transferring all the fish to her basket and went home. When Tum returned, she realized that her fish had been disappeared, and she cried. Suddenly, a Buddha appeared and asked, "Why do you cry?" She told the story to him. The Buddha told Tum to find in the basket if there was any fish. As a result, there was a gobi left. Don't be sad anymore. Take the gobi to the well and feed it every day. The Buddha sat and disappeared. Tum came back home, released the gobi to the well. After the meal, she fed it. Gobi, gobi, go up and eat my golden and silver rice. Don't eat their spoiled rice and porridge. At that time. Gam and her mother followed her. And they knew the secret. The mother told them, "Daughter, the village is prohibiting buffalo eating in the field. Tomorrow, either you have to herd our buffalo far away, or they will punish our buffalo." At home, the stepmother and Gam killed and ate Gobi. In the afternoon, Tum returned home and brought rice to feed Gobi as usual. However, she called many times. The Gobi didn't appear. She cried, and Buddha appeared. Why did you cry? Tum told him story, and then he said, "Stop crying. Go home and find fish bone and put it in four pots and bury at four legs of the bed. Tum obeyed him. That year there was a festival in the village. Everyone was excited to see the festival. The stepmother and Gam were sitting in front of the mirror and making up, whereas Tum was doing housework. The stepmother stroked Gam's hair and said. Oh, my daughter is so beautiful. They found and mixed rice and bran together. Then they asked them to separate them before going to the festival. Tum was upset and cried. The Buddha appeared once more time and said, "Why did you cry?" She cried and said, "I really want to join the festival, but I have to separate rice and bran first." At this time, the old man used sorcery to call birds to help her. Tum was happy. Then she cried again because she didn't have beautiful clothes. The Buddha asked her to dig four pots under the bed's leg. Tum followed him, and she saw beautiful clothes, shoes, and a horse. She got dressed and climbed on the horse back. Unluckily, when she was crossing the bridge, a shoe fell down the river, and she couldn't find it out. She continued to go to the festival. After a while, the king's horse went the bridge, and when it came to the middle of the bridge, it shouted and stopped it. He commanded someone to go to the river, and they found a very beautiful shoe. The king said. Who fit this shoe? I will marry her. Everyone came and tried, but no one fit it. Both stepmother and Gam. 
to Tim's turn, the shoe fit her immediately. Everyone cheered and clapped their hand, but Gam and her mother were very angry and envious. King picked them up to the palace. Until death day of Tim's father, she came back home. The weak stepmother said. You have ever climbed the Erica before, so today you should climb and pick them down for the ceremony. When Tum climbed the tree, the stepmother cut down it. Tum felt the shaking and said, "What are you doing?" The stepmother hit the knife and said, "I am chasing ants." The Erica fell down and Tum died. Gam went to the palace and replaced her sister's position. The king was so sad. After dying, Tham became a canary, flew to the palace, and sang for the king. The king spent all the time on the bird, so Gam was so jealous and thought how to kill the canary. After killing them again, she threw the feathers at the corner of the garden. There were two peach trees grown up there. One day, the king saw two beautiful trees, so he told people to bring a cart between them, and he could take a rest in the royal garden. Because he took so much time in there, he didn't care of Gam. She was so depressed, cried, came back home, and told her mother. They thought. How to cut down two tree to make weaving loom? While she was weaving clothes, she heard Tham's voice. Tham threatened to hack Gam's eyes. Gam felt afraid and worried, so she burned the weaving loom and threw ash far away. From there, there was a gold apple tree having only delicious fruit. One day, an old woman went through and saw it. She approached. And persuaded to fall down her back, she promised to smell it instead of eating it. The gold apple fell down immediately, made her feel happy. Every day, when the old woman wasn't at home, Tham came out and do housework, cook meal. The old woman didn't know who that is, so one day she pretended to go out for a while and came back. Then she saw a beautiful girl cleaning the house. She quickly entered the house and crinkled the skin of the fruit. Tham was so panic-struck, two people hugged each other and cried. After that day, Tham lived with the old woman as her mother. One day, the king walked and saw a clean water store, so he stopped to sit and relax. The old lady offered the king beetle nuts. He recognized and said, "Who made it?" The old woman said, "It's my daughter." King, can she show me the face? Tham came out, and the king knew that was his wife, so he picked it up to the palace. When Gam saw Tham return, Gam scared, returned home and told her mother. Gam and her mother left the village to somewhere, and no one could see them again. Finally, the king and them lived peacefully and happily after ever. This is the end of the story. Now, kids, what do you think about today's story? What is fun or not? If you love it, like and subscribe to show more support to our channel. Moreover, don't forget to turn on the bell to get updated with new fairy tales from Bedtime Stories TV. Bye.